Hey guys, so this is a quick review of the Keychron K1. This are uh, the latest uh, V4 uh, low profile uh, keyboards. They just uh, arrived in July 2020. Okay, so I'll go through the features and all that stuff later on. I'll start right off with the sound check. Okay, now uh, I'm recording this with the Galaxy Note 9, so it's not a professional microphone, but uh, I think you should pick up the sound fairly, de uh, fairly decently. Now distance wise, right, this is uh, roughly the same distance as you would have uh, your ears. I'll do a quick volume check so that you can adjust your uh, earphones or speakers accordingly, okay? So as close down as possible. Okay, so just adjust your uh, earphone speakers, whatever accordingly. Now, I'll uh, start off with a normal uh, sound, uh, what you call it, normal typing test. So, oh, I have a mouse here as well, so here's the mouse click. Okay, so volume check that. Now, um, typing wise, they are fairly quiet. That's if you're typing pretty much full strength. You can go silent as well. If you're gentle. I'll do close-up recordings later, but I would say uh, generally speaking, it's, it's fairly silent. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, I guess I'll move on next to the features of the keyboard. Um, let's start with the build. Now, it's quite uh, fairly heavy, quite uh, solid. One thing I want to highlight early in this video is the how it, you know, it, it feels like a very nice cascading feeling to it because I think it's partly because of the lighting but also the... Uh, the arrangement, uh, I don't think I have space. I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see over here maybe. Let me try and read. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, so here's how it's arranged. So, it's kind of, if you see it like, like that, right? It's kind of arranged cascadingly. So, when you type, it's like you have, it's like you're typing on four different layers. It's, it's like a cinema seating kind of thing. So, it's actually quite nice. Now, um, actually I forgot, I wanted to show a comparison uh, with a different keyboard. So I have over here my previous keyboard. Now this is the uh, Gaming Freak, uh, I forgot the, the, yeah, the, 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 uh, the name. Uh, this is a previous one, Gaming Freak. Also, this is a brown key, I've disconnected it. Uh, I've replaced the keycaps, uh, there's a previous video on that. But uh, here's a sound check comparison. And these are brown switches by the way, not blue. So by comparison, okay. So these are much, much quieter by comparison. I like it. Okay, so um, cover typing wise, uh, let's have a look at the keys themselves. is quite nice the feel is definitely better than uh, what i have over here these are lazada uh, china bought super cheap keycaps i think i bought the whole thing for the, the keycap set for like 20 ringgit 25 ringgit that's like six dollars <laughs> okay uh, these ones over here have better grip i quite like this one that one feel very cheap well these ones definitely feel a lot better Okay, um, what else can I say about this? Um, these do come with uh, both uh, Mac and Windows uh, keycap sets. Okay, so you know you can swap them out for uh, Mac if you want to. 
they come originally with the Mac one, so you actually have to switch them to Windows actually. Okay, now uh, this one is Bluetooth enabled. The controls are over here, on, off, Bluetooth, uh, and, uh, Android or iOS controls over here, lights. Their lighting functions are over here. This is the white um, background one. There's another model with the RGB version. I, I didn't buy that, I just like the white ones. So you can change the effects over here. So these are kind of this is like the screen saver effect. Okay, now we've reached the keystroke effects. Uh, these are just names I made up. I don't know if they actually called them. Actually no, I think I missed a few, hold on huh? Okay, then there's... Ah. Which one is it again? Oh no, sorry, function light is to turn it on or off this is pure on ah there it is okay so a different kind of keystroke effect single line and pure on don't know how I missed them earlier so yeah, that's, those are lighting effects. Um, no, uh, you can actually uh, wait. Let me find the settings for that. Sorry about that. Ah, sorry about that. So you can actually control the brightness of the light here. Function um, these two. So I've actually swapped out the function key. So uh, you can actually swap between the multimedia set or the function key set. Right, it's built in as a functionality. So this is at maximum brightness, four levels. Okay. Um, uh, let's see what else can I talk about. So uh, the features, I think you can you can read them online. Uh, there is a uh, lighting effect, auto sleep mode. So if you're using this on wireless mode, which I am, right? Uh, uh, what you call it? After ten minutes, it will go to auto sleep mode. Then you just press any key to trigger it back on it takes about half a second um, cable switching and there's a few other small features I don't think we'll go through them you can read the rest of it online blah 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 oh uh, bluetooth so this one can actually connect to three uh, bluetooth devices at the same time um, at the same time meaning you can switch between three profiles okay uh, how you do that is you actually go to function 1 and then you set it on a Bluetooth mode and you connect again and then if you want to switch if you want to connect it to a second device you got to go to function 2 first and then you connect it um, it's now actually you know what since I'm here right uh, this needs actually a little bit of correction uh, it says function F1 to, uh, to pair the device and then if you want to go to uh, second and third key function one function fu function two function three now function one function two function three is to switch but if you want to pair you actually have to go to function two first and then you function two for four seconds to pair bluetooth to the second keyboard hold uh, function three for four seconds to pair to the third keyboard okay and this wasn't mentioned over here so i figured i'd mention it over here um the rest not important I guess okay um, it's in English and Chinese not that thick okay um, what else should I talk about um, okay so they do come with spare keycaps for the escape and the lighting ones if you look if you prefer uh, standard brown color ones okay like that 
or you can use the orange colored ones if you want. Um, this one has a uh, it comes with a USB C charging port is over here. You can use it as a purely as a cable uh, keyboard if you want to, or use it purely wireless. It's up to you. Yeah, uh, I won't talk about the specs over here. You can just read about that. Um, box wise, well, it comes with uh, your standard padding. You can use that to pad your underneath if you want to. Uh, comes with keycap removal um, and a cable which I just shown you and that's pretty much it comes in a box like that uh, mine came pretty much perfectly nicely wrapped no damage to the box at all the is about that way so this would be quite nice actually as a gift uh, I guess that's about it uh, if you have any questions uh, other questions about this Feel free to let me know. Oh, um, one thing I do I, I should notice is if you've bought one of your own, uh, it comes uh, conf pre configured as a uh, Mac, which I've mentioned earlier in this video. After changing the keycaps, you actually do have to switch this one over here. And uh, because you know who reads manuals, right? And I didn't read manual before that, <laughs> but uh, you have to switch this to, to Windows first because else this will be a Windows key, um, and, and we wouldn't want that, obviously. Okay, uh, I think I've run out of things to talk so I'm rambling over here so if you have any other questions about this keyboard of course feel free to let me know um, height wise okay that's one last thing I, I'll, I'll talk about it's very nice and comfortable so you don't need a palm rest it's pretty much the same height as a regular keyboard at this point so very nice it's the one of the main reasons why I bought this as opposed to a regular keyboard over here which is really high so I actually had to use a keyboard uh, sorry a uh, 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 palm rest for this cause it's so freaking high. Let me show you how high it is. Okay, this is the height difference. Huge! Absolutely massive. Okay, so yes. Uh, in a nutshell, do I like it? Absolutely loving it. Very nice. Very sleek. Most importantly, very thin, very quiet. Right, hope you like this video. Cheers, bye.